So, uh, we got asked to talk about hockey. And I'm talking about it because I'm a spine surgeon, even though Dr. Mirza is the Canadian, so he knows a lot more about hockey than I do. But I know about spine. Anyway, Jack Eichel, uh, Buffalo Sabres. So there's uh, some stuff in the news. He's, he's disappointed about how his neck injury was handled by the team. I'm not sure what the details are, but it uh, sounds like he's had, he had a cervical disc herniation. Um, that's all I know, and I don't know how things were handled. But uh, I guess we can talk about what kind of injuries to the neck preclude people from playing contact sports, which is hockey is a very contact-heavy sport. Right? So, uh, in the cervical spine, uh, essentially this is it, right? So, if you have a disc herniation, if it's treated non operatively and then you're now asymptomatic, no restrictions on returning to contact sports, right? Uh, if you have a disc herniation that's treated operatively and you now have no symptoms, no restrictions on return to contact sports. If you have a disc herniation, that ended up requiring surgery to fuse part of your cervical spine. Once that's healed, no restrictions on return to contact sports. We had a quarterback that did that. Manning, right? Remember that? Uh, he had an ACDF, anterior cervical discectomy infusion, uh, went black and played in Super Bowl one. So no restrictions. Um, uh, there are restrictions on this, though. If, if you have a disc herniation, you're symptomatic. No, you can't be playing contact sports unless that, until that's taken care of. Uh, two, if you have cervical spinal stenosis, in, in other words, narrowing of the uh, cervical um, uh, canal, uh, and you don't have a lot of room for that, that, that spinal cord, you know, if you're playing contact sports and you don't have any room for that, uh, that CSF fluid that's usually surrounding the spinal cord and giving some kind of... Um, uh, uh, kind of cushion uh, when you're if, if you're if you're in a, in a trauma, that's kind of a contraindication. Or if you have a loss of the normal lordosis and other normal curvature of your cervical spine, especially if it's kyphotic, kind of forward, that's really you're really prone to a cervical spine injury, and that's kind of a con that's a contraindication for the contact sports. So uh, I'm not sure what happened with uh, Jack Eichel. Um, it sounds like he had a disc herniation. Um, and uh, whether it was something that was supposed to have surgery or not, I don't know. Um, uh, it sounds like he may think that he should have had a procedure and that didn't happen. And that is why he's upset. I don't know. But uh, there you go. So, Dr. Mirza, there you go. Talked about hockey injury in the cervical spine. <laughs> I don't think about hockey at all. <laughs>